of the good parts of preparing for LR is that LR can actually be divided into question types. Unlike DI, where there are not many question types that you could divide into, LR you can actually divide into question types. And uh, when you divide LR into question types, you divide into two question types. One is question types for the cat. These are the chapters for the cat. And uh, this essentially consists of four kinds of puzzles. Arrangement, team selection, ranking and generic puzzles. Then you've got quantitative reasoning which is puzzles based on numericals. This is very close to logical DI by the way, but there will be more of a reasoning component in this than a data component. I mean, logical DI question is dominated by a data component and logic around the data component. In quantitative reasoning, you'll find more of a reasoning component with numericals involved in it. But it's a very thin line. You can always put one of these questions from here to there. And uh, you need to understand that when you're preparing logical DI and you're preparing quantitative reasoning, you're more or less on two sides of the same coin. And then these chapters, set theory, very critical chapter for LR for CAT. Games and tournaments, very critical chapter for LR for CAT. Network diagrams, again, are very pretty critical chapters. And these, these eight chapters are the first uh, block of chapters that you prepare. And your first focus should be to do maybe between 20 to 30 sets on each of these question types so that you understand what these question types and the skills required to solve a set theory question is very different from a skill required to solve a quantitative reasoning question. And that is very different from a games and tournaments question. So you need to first scale yourself up on these eight topics and you need to have a lot of passion. You need to bring in the passion word on these eight topics. And once the eight topics are done, this miscellaneous is basically uh, something that you will realize. If you look at your past year questions, you realize that no matter how much you try to put everything into boxes, you still have some questions which are completely different from the others. So those are the miscellaneous question types that you prepare for. And uh, these you'll typically be able to source from your previous year questions, etc.